The following video is a demonstration on how to effectively and efficiently assist with the insertion of an intraaortic balloon pump at the bedside. The intended audience is nursing. Here we're joining nurse Nancy, patient Mr. Smith, and Dr. Barrett who will be placing a balloon pump. Nancy is preparing the patient and the room. Patient's groins should be shaved and CHG bathed if time allows. Placing the bedside table in an appropriate position for the procedure is also ideal. Before the provider is at the bedside, you can set up the console and prepare supplies. Some units have a cart with balloon pump insertion supplies, but for the units who do not, please ensure you gather everything necessary. You will need a single transducer, saline, pressure bag, mask, bonnet, gauze, leads, a central line insertion kit, sterile gloves, and a balloon pump kit. In some cases, providers may prefer to bring the central line kit, sterile gloves, and balloon pump kit themselves. Clarify before you assume. Begin by plugging in the balloon pump console and positioning it out of the way but accessible to you. The end of the bed is preferred, often on the right side, but for the viewing sake of this video, we have set it up differently. Turn on the machine. Place the EKG monitoring leads on the patient as soon as possible. It is imperative that this be completed prior to the provider draping the patient and preparing the sterile field, as you will then be unable to access the chest of the patient. Proper lead placement is key. Ensure the EKG leads are connected to the console. Prime and hang a single transducer setup. Untangle the tubing and hang it so that it will be easily accessible when the provider is ready to connect. Then connect the transducer cables between tubing and console. You now need to zero the transducer to get a pressure reading. There's no need to level if you are using a fiber optic balloon as we are here. Ensure that the setup is in auto and one-to-one -one configuration. At this point, the console is automatically in standby and it can stay like this for hours. Do not press start here. Morning, Nancy. Oh, good morning, Dr. Barrett. What's, what's going on here? Uh, we're getting ready for Mr. Smith to set him up for a balloon pump. Okay. Um, I'll go get the ultrasound, and you got the leads on him? Yes, sir. I okay. do. Great. Okay. For the purpose of this video, we will not discuss sedation or medicating for pain, but please make sure you are properly assessing your patient's needs prior to the time of insertion. Assist in setting up the ultrasound opposite the provider. Mr. Smith, are you okay? Just let me know when you need anything, okay? We're just setting up. I'm 
Okay. And we have a probe cover, Nancy? Yes, sir. Okay. Remember that once the physician begins creating the sterile field, you and anyone else in the room must don bonnet and mask to maintain sterility. We have some gloves. Yes, sir. Yep. They're on the table. Thank you. I'm going to come around and assist you. Thank you. Be prepared to assist the provider in placing the probe cover on the ultrasound probe in a sterile fashion. I'm just going to put this drape on, Mr. Smith. Probe covered. Thank you. Notice Nancy did not touch the contents of the probe cover package. The smaller probe, Dr. Baird? Um, no, the, uh, that one, dear. Thank you. Notice she is remaining free of touching the sterile field. Can I have the first tray out of the kit? <sighs> Nancy will now provide the inner contents of the balloon pump kit. Are you ready for the second? Um, I can take it now, sure. Do not touch the inner contents of this peel pack.
Mr. Smith, are you doing okay? All right, we're just prepping. Okay, can I give you your flush line? It is now time to connect the pressure tubing. This is where it comes in key that you hung your tubing accessible. Do not touch the sterile part of the provider's tubing for the balloon pressure tubing. Can I flush? Sure. Flush at the direction of the provider. Okay. And off. Okay. Give you your gas line. I'm ready. Thank you. Connect the helium tubing and fiber optic cable to the balloon pump. Connect it. Okay. All right, Mr. Williams. While the physician is inserting the balloon pump, the nurse should remain on alert for any assistance that might be required. Also, monitor the patient for discomfort and hemo hemodynamic stability. Doing okay, Mr. Smith? Little pressure, sir. going to hear a little noise, sir. Okay. Can I hand you your fiber Now optic? connect 
the fiber optic line to the balloon Thank pump you. console. Okay, and let's hook up your gas line. Uh, can you flush your line, please? Flushing. Flush the pressure. And off. Line again. Perfect. Okay. All right, ready All right. to start. Start. Once the order has been given from the provider to start, Press the start button. Ensure the screen is viewable to the provider as you both take a moment to analyze. Okay. All right. Thank you, Nancy. All right, Dr. Baird, I think we're done. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember, these are just the fundamental elements that you need to insert a balloon pump. If you have any questions, we ask that you locate your charge nurse or your resource nurse so they can give the information to you. Please remember, there may be more elements to inserting a balloon pump, but use the resource that you have on the floor. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you find it informative.